Spotify's Which TV are you using right now? And what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Vizio Q7H1 – Best Input Lag Vizio Q7 Series Quantum is a good overall budget TV. It's very similar to the Vizio M8 Series Quantum of 2020, but it doesn't get as bright and has fewer local dimming zones. It sports a VA panel that can produce deep blacks, great for viewing movies or gaming in the dark. Its fast response time results in only a short blur trail behind fast-moving objects, and it has an optional black frame insertion feature to improve clarity further. Its input lag is low enough to satisfy most gamers, and it supports variable refresh rate technology to reduce screen tearing. The Vizio Q7H1 is a 4K TV that supports high dynamic range or HDR content. Last but not least, Vizio has stuffed in as many future-facing features as is feasible for a TV in this price range. Not only are you getting the latest version of Vizio's Smartcast TV platform, which is fine for things like watching Netflix or Prime Video, even if we don't like it as much as a Roku TV, but also some excellent techie features for next-gen gaming. The Vizio M-Series Quantum TV line offers a very wide color gamut and super low input lag for a budget-friendly price, but its contrast levels lag behind comparable models. Number 4. Samsung TU8000 – Best for Gaming this incredible 4K TV delivers some exceptional features such as its attractive design, great darkroom performance, low input lag, and a nice smart TV platform that'll impress everyone out there. If you want to stick under the $500 price for this TV, you should stick to the 43-inch, 50-inch, and 55-inch sizes. Moving on, despite being so cheap, the Samsung TU8000 rocks a pretty attractive design that's beautiful in my opinion. The chassis is made from black plastic but has a great textured finish that adds a bit of flair to it. The feet of the TV on the bottom are also made of plastic, but it provides nice looks and stability. The bezels around the screen are nearly non-existent, which impressed me as it makes this panel so attractive and immersive. Furthermore, I should state that the Samsung TU8000 has VISO wall mount support if you wish for wall mounting. The Samsung TU8000 has a good amount of ports on the back, including three HDMI ports, one with ARC support, a coax port, RF connection, one composite port, and an optical port to complete the package. It also comes with a simple and intuitive remote control that I fell in love with. Number 3. TCL S535 – Best for the Money The TCL 55 S535 TV marries premium picture and endless entertainment for a stellar home theatre experience. Quantum Dot technology and the HDR Pro Pack with Dolby Vision combine for greater brightness and contrast, as well as a full palette of rich colors. TCL Contrast Control Zone technology optimizes the image across individual zones to yield striking contrast between light and dark areas. For gamers, a responsive TV is just as important as one with a good picture. With Auto Game Mode, you'll experience the smoothest action, lowest latency, and the best picture settings for gaming automatically. The TCL5 series has a good design. It's an improvement over the TCL5 series S525 of 2019 because it has thinner bezels and a new design on the back. This TV also has new feet that include cable management, which is a nice addition. Something else I should mention is that even though this TV is a budget one, it really has some nice viewing angles. It displays deep blacks when viewed in the dark, it has an incredibly low input lag, quick response time, and a black frame insertion feature to help reduce motion blur. Sadly, it's limited to a 60Hz refresh rate and doesn't support any VRR technology, but overall, it really is one of the best budget TVs in the market. Number 2. Hisense H8G – Best Runner-Up the Hisense earned high marks earlier this year for delivering excellent color and contrast performance with a generous assortment of features at an affordable price. Like most TVs today, the TV stand is comprised of two blade-style feet. Unlike many TVs that provide one set of feet locations situated at the far end of the TV, the HHE Quantum has a narrow placement option as well. The combination of these two should help the TV achieve deeper black levels and minimize halo effect which produces rings of light around bright objects and a dark background. The use of the VA panel also meant that off-angle viewing won't look very good. Colors wash out, the contrast takes a big hit, and you can more easily see the backlights in action. All very typical. 
You'll find almost every app you could want on the Hisense HHE Quantum series, along with popular streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime, you can download plenty of apps for cable cutting, Sling, YouTube TV, free content, Pluto, Tubi, studio content, HBO Max and Showtime, and Working Out, Peloton. There are also a number of games you can download and play using your remote or Android TV gamepad. This is the best Hisense TV to date. Number 1. TCL R635 – Best Overall The 6 Series is brighter than before, more colorful, and doesn't have a single hint of haloing or light bleed. It's designed in a new way to hide your cables, and it's the first TV to come with THX certified game mode for 1440p 120Hz gaming. The TCL 6 Series is relatively slim, measuring 2.8 inches at the thickest point, but narrowing down to just 1 inch thick around the outside bezel. The brightness, black levels, and overall backlight control can be attributed to TCL's pioneering work in mini-LED technology, which is employed in the 6 Series this year, but was reserved for the 8K8 Series last year. For those unfamiliar, mini-LED backlighting is a much more precise version of the standard LED backlight tech we've seen for years. There was some minor banding in scenes where color transitions were especially subtle, like bright blue sky, but changes in tone left slightly posterized circles of color as sunlight shifted between shades of blue and yellow. The TCL 6 Series' weakest front is easily the audio quality offered by the pair of 8-watt speakers inside. The TCL 6 Series is an excellent television, especially given its price. A little work needs to be put in to get the best picture quality, but with some guidance and a little time, excellence is achievable. Buying Guide Size Whether you're looking for a basic or high-performance TV, the biggest factor in your decision will probably be screen size. Consider how many people in your family typically watch at once and where you're going to put your new set. Then pick the largest screen size that will fit comfortably into that space and your budget. The sweet spot today, considering price, performance, and the typical living room, is between 55 and 65 inches. HDR HDR is short for High Dynamic Range, and as far as we're concerned, when it's done right, it's a much more impressive change to overall picture quality than resolution alone. HDR makes images more vibrant and lifelike through higher brightness, contrast, and wider color gamut. That's the total number of colors a TV can display. At its best, HDR is truly stunning. You won't want to return to SDR, Standard Dynamic Range, once you see it in action. FAQ Why are 4K TVs so cheap now? With less demand for actual TVs, there's less reason for manufacturers to price them even more highly. But the most interesting and telling reason for why TVs are now so cheap is because TV manufacturers have found a new revenue stream – advertising. Prices may be low, but so are most people's wages. Do smart TVs have hidden cameras? Smart televisions offer a lot of cool features including internet access, streaming apps and built-in cameras and microphones. At worst, they might turn on your TV's camera and microphone to spy on you, or use that access to find a back door into your router and other connected devices. Is it worth getting a 4K TV? With the extremely high cost of 8K TVs in 2021 and the limited amount of content, it's worth getting a 4K TV. However, technology evolves quickly and we may see a rise in 8K TVs in the coming years. After all, it was once a crazy thought that 4K content would become as accessible as it is now. Which is better, UHD or LED? LED backlit 4K UHD TVs, including Samsung's new QLED line, are technically really still LCD TVs with a higher resolution and are taking the name 4K UHD or 4K Ultra HD. 4K LCD TV is a more appropriate name. While OLED TVs are still more expensive than good 4K LED TVs, the gap has narrowed.